Imperial powers like the British, French, and Dutch arrived on Turtle Island with intent to conquer, pillage, and control the vast lands that belong to many indigenous nations. This process is now referred to as colonization. Following the horrific history of the treatment of Canada's indigenous peoples, a post-colonial discussion on around reconciliation has become mainstream. However, colonialism wears a new face in the form of neocolonialism. Neocolonialism takes many forms, such as in the creation and representation of indigenous peoples in the media, as well as environmental-based discrimination. There is a lack of representation of indigenous peoples in mainstream media, constituting a systemic exclusion from Canadian ideology and politics. Harmful stereotypes in media are also contributing to problematic narratives of what it means to be indigenous today, creating a discriminatory view that continues in cultural appropriations and rhetoric. Environmental-based racism, on the other hand, results in harmful environmental conditions that disproportionately affect indigenous peoples in Canada. Environmental racism is the result of the Canadian state's white supremacist foundation and it fringes upon indigenous human rights such as safe drinking water and food sources. By challenging neocolonialism, we can achieve a Canadian society that celebrates mutually appreciated difference and is built upon respect and understanding.